I'm going to live with my new mom, so you need to get a divorce and leave right now. Well, I will leave soon. I've met you all the best. I had been kicked out of my house by my husband and his mistress and had to leave alone. Michael was surprised by her unexpected behavior. He had assumed that she would leave with me. Hey, wait a minute. What? No way. Are you kidding me? I'm not going to take care of your children. They got impatient, but they had certain reasons for having to take care of my daughter. I'm Jennifer, 40 years old, homemaker. I live in a condo with my husband, Michael and two daughters, Emma and Olivia. I and my husband, Michael, were in the same grade and have been dating since we were students and married him after two years he started working. At Chins, I've been helping out in the family business since I graduated from university, but after I married him, I moved out to become a full-time homemaker. After that, I was busy with the birth of my two daughters and raising them. Now, Olivia and Emma are in junior high and high school respectively. They are both going through a rebellious phase, don't talk to us and have a sister fight frequently. Hey Ollie, that's my snack. You didn't write your name. Thought he had it, like Akisana. What's all the fuss? You left an empty bag of snacks. I don't care, it's Ollie's. I don't know either. I'll train all these fights were based on stupid reasons like this. So from my point of view, I thought there were still young children. One day, I felt something wrong with my body, so I went to see a doctor. Then the doctor told me it was early stage cancer. When I told this to Michael, he was surprised and became upset. The cancer, that's a big deal. What am I going to do? I need to be in the hospital for a while. If something happened to you, how would I live? But we have a lot of decisions to make. What? I don't know if something's wrong. What are you talking about? What if you can't express your will anymore when cancer progresses? He seemed to worry only about himself, and I was totally depressed. Mom, we can take care of ourselves. Don't push yourself too hard. Um, I am better at cooking than you am I, so I'll help you. I was worried about how Olivia and Emma, at an impressionable age, would take my cancer, but they would help me with housework and cheer me up. So I was surprised at their growth. You saying I was hospitalized and got surgery, and the doctor explained that the prognosis was good and that reassured me. I wanted to tell Michael about it, but for some reason, I couldn't contact him. I had no choice but to ask Emma to take a message for me, and she told me a shocking story. Really? Oh my god, this is so bad. Potter is all he cries all the time. I'm calling Grandma. Emma got in touch with my parents, and Emma, Olivia, and my parents were going to come to the hospital the next day. The next day, Eichel visited my hospital room with a strange woman before them. Nice to meet you. I'm Sarah. Actually, I've been dating him for quite some time. Dating? I was astounded by her imprudent attitude without taking offense. Much on the other hand, he gazed lovingly at her and nodded. Then he said, your days are numbered, aren't they? I need to divorce you as soon as possible so I can get married to her. I free to eat. 
We love each other. You can't support him anymore, can you? Give the rest to me and rest in peace. And please, give us the condo as soon as possible. He seemed to be convinced I had cancer and would die soon, so he seemed to be overly upset. He seemed to be overly optimistic about his new life plan with her. If you don't do anything right with that condo, our future is at stake. They were concerned about our condo. That was an inheritance from my grandfather before I married him. My grandfather was a wealthy man with multiple properties. He gave me an entire room in a luxury condo that he had owned for commercial purposes as a rental property. He said that if I didn't make it clear in my will, the ownership of the condo would be split into three equal parts between him. Olivia and Emma. I was so surprised, angry, and sad that I could not think of anything else, and I let them leave the hospital room. After crying for a while, I began to worry about how Olivia and Emma were doing. Then they and my parents came in and encouraged me who was upset. My parents were angry and appalled at his words and actions. My daughters were also angry with me, saying that he sucked. After calming down, I was finally able to tell them that the cancer was benign and had already been cured. Everyone was happy that the cancer was benign. That with my hospitalization revealing his true character, it seemed difficult to maintain this relationship any longer. I talked with my parents and decided to return to my parents' house after discharge. Naturally, I was going to take my daughters home to my parents' house, but... And they also told me the reason. Action, I was a little confused to hear their feelings, but I thought it was a good way to get back at him. When I went to my condo to pick up my stuff, I set up a meeting with Michael and Sarah. I accept the divorce. By the way, what are you going to do about our daughters? They should be with their mother. Yes, you should take them. Then they came out of their rooms and said, I'm going to live with my new mom, so you need to get a divorce and leave right now. Well, I will leave soon. Wish you all the best. He was surprised by the unexpected behavior. He had assumed that they would leave with me. Wait a minute. What? You're leaving them? No way. I wonder if they would be happy with a healthy new mother than a sickly old one. You're kidding me? I'm not going to take care of them. Act them. I'll let them inherit the condo and you guys leave. They fell silent. I'll be sorry if you guys don't take good care of my lovely daughters. I wanted you to inherit the condo. Venon, I might as well ask you for alimony. Wait. Yes, you're right. It is natural for a father to take care of my daughters, isn't it? Sarah? Uh, um, yeah. Then take good care of them. If you get along with them here... I don't care about alimony for cheating. Okay, I'll take care of it. They were convinced I had cancer and would not live long, so they decided to comply just for now. But it was obvious that both of them intended to take over this condo and evict my children after my illness and death. After I left the hospital, I moved back to my parents' house and focused on slowly healing my body. Since I did not have to do housework or take care of Michael, I was able to relax and my strength recovered quickly. 
Sarah, on the other hand, thought she could live alone with him in the condo, but to her dislike. Olivia and Emma were staying there, too. For either. I heard from two of them that they didn't help with any housework and let Sarah do all of it. Why don't you guys do just a bit of cleaning? What? I've never cleaned a house before. Hey, new mom, is your food ready yet? I don't want it to be disgusting like it was yesterday. Um... I don't cook. Have it your way. I think I'll order some pizza. That's a good idea. Love pizza. What? Stop it. How much do you think it costs? Alright. I'll cook something. Oh my god, why do I have to do this? In addition, they continued to burden him by signing up for a series of school fees, expensive cram schools, and mail order sales. So he ran out of money to contribute to her, and this led to further fights. Why do you cut my allowance? I have to do all the housework day in and day out, so I'm stressed out. Let me buy whatever I want. You don't have a choice? I'll wear in the red this month because uh, they bought new clothes. I can't take it anymore. When is your ex-wife going to die? Well, I'll go and ask her again. Um... He would occasionally call me to spy on my medical condition. How are you feeling? Are you already in the hospital or something? Yeah. I think I don't have much time left. How's Miss Shouse? You take care of Olivia and Emma. After I'm gone, I'll give you the condo and I'll forget about the alimony for the affair. Oh, they want to go on a ski trip, so make sure you give them my, uh, the money for that. They got money from him and went to travel with me. I think on other occasions, I contacted him. Pay hey, Emma wants to go to an exam camp. Oh, uh, you know, it's too expensive, so I'm trying not to let her go. If Emma gets into the school of her choice, I won't have any more regrets. Oh, yeah. He seemed to be repeatedly in debt, relying on his inheritance of the condo and the cancellation of alimony. By the time a year had passed in this way, I become independent of my parents' family business, and I was able to have my own office, get more work orders, and hire employees. One day, due to my work, I came to know the fact of Sarah. A year later, I decided to see Michael and Sarah. They looked quite surprised when they saw my appearance. That also should be expected, because they imagined a skinny ragged me. However, in reality, I was a dashing designer suit-wearing and hard-working business lady. It's been a while. I came here today to talk about our future. Oh, hey. Yes, thanks. By the way, Sarah... Ex appreciation of taking care of my daughters. I'll let you know the results of this survey. I recommend that you should do something as soon as possible. I held out the envelope containing the materials to Sarah. What the hell is this? Hey, what is this? You know, my parents run a research company. I'm running my own agency out of there. Specializing in cheating investigations. What's wrong with cheating? I'm the one who told you the truth, do you? It's not about you, it's her. I pointed to Sarah and said, Hey Sarah, you are in a relationship with more than one married man besides him. My client will sue you sooner or later, so be prepared. Oh, and here's a picture to prove it. Oh, no. 
inside the envelope was a picture of her flirting with some men. Who are the guys in the picture? Hey Sarah, are you having an affair? This is bullshit. And I thought you had cancer and were dying. What's going on with this condo inheritance? As you are sec, were you, were you... Out there, you tricked me. He was confused by the fact that he had been further cheated on by his affair partner, and by the fact that I, whom he thought was sick, showed up in good health. We all have a lifespan at some point, right? You just misunderstood that I would die soon, didn't you? Oh, by the way, my lawyer will be requesting a fee for the affair, so please be prepared. I wonder how much she's going to be charged. But uh, alimony? It wouldn't be was like charging me if we took care of our daughters. Besides, I'll take them with me, so you don't have to take care of them anymore. Oh no. They came out of their rooms carrying their ad H cases because they were planning to leave here today. Then they said goodbye to Michael and Sarah with big smiles on their faces. Thanks for everything. Take care. We exchanged smiles and glances. It all went as planned. I then filed an alimony claim against them as announced. I sold that condo and evicted both of them. But before that, Sarah had given up on him who had no money and ran away. However, when Sarah clung to another unfaithful partner, our staff found it and the other wife caught them, and they are now in a difficult situation. I had filed a wage garnishment against him to collect alimony, so he moved to a cheap employee dormitory and continues to work to pay off his alimony and debts while being looked at coldly in the of our teeth since they continued to do well and the business of the detective agency was getting back on track i live in good health so that i can lead a happy life with my lovely daughters dot right 